Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today it's going to be another fix it video. Another video where I buy something faulty off eBay and I do my best to fix it. Now I'm not an expert in these repairs, often in a lot of cases I've never even taken the the item apart before. So what you're going to see is like an amateur doing it. So good chance I might not even be able to fix it but I will do my best. So remember that I'm not an expert in this, I might not be doing it the correct way and it might not even be the safest way of doing things. It's just the way that I go about doing it. Trying to you know, find out what the fault is, do basic fault finding and then using uh, you know, the best of my ability to try and fix it. So I'm uh, not even sure what is in this particular one, I've ordered up lots of things recently. Aha, yes. I remember this, right, okay. This is gonna be an interesting one for me. This is a megaphone. Right, okay, and it is uh, apparently Larnaca Airport Police megaphone. So this should be an interesting one. And from memory, it said something like, uh, I mean, it doesn't work, but I wasn't sure of the reason. I think it was that it was completely dead. Right, let me show you the uh, eBay listing and then uh, I'll try and fix it. Right, okay, so here we have it. A lot of people are asking what this laptop is. This is basically called a GPD Pocket. Okay, Gamepad Digital Pocket. Right, okay, have a look here now. I paid $13.99 for this. It was free delivery. And it says here, Branford MG2200 Megaphone, Megaphone X Police Force. And then it says spares or repair. It's got a load of pictures on it. Yeah, you can see it's the same one. And it says here, uh, does nothing when batteries are inserted. The megaphone is X Larnaca International Airport Police Force, sold as faulty spares or repair. So basically when they put the batteries in, it's, uh, I presume it's just dead. So this is going to be quite an interesting one. I've never, ever had a megaphone, so I'm actually quite looking forward to seeing how it works. I'm... Uh, I'm hoping it is going to be repairable, but uh, we're not going to know that until we start testing it and seeing, uh, seeing what's what. In my mind, I'm thinking it might just be as simple as maybe corrosion or something on the battery terminals. But then again, from the outside, it definitely looks to be in good condition. And uh, from memory, Larnaca is in Cyprus, so it'd be unlikely to be damaged by the rain. But uh, yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to have a look, see, see what's what. I don't know how... Does this thing come off? I don't want to break it. Does it just lift off? Oh, yes it does. So it just lifts off. So obviously this is what you speak into. Looks like it's got a siren as well. So I'll tell you who's going to love this. My, uh, my kids will absolutely love this. And I could imagine if I do get it working that my uh, wife will absolutely hate it. But look at that. I mean, it does look like a quality piece of equipment, doesn't it? Right, okay. It looks really well made. So what I'm going to do is get some batteries in and see uh, see what happens. That's on crooked. That doesn't look like... Oh, no, it's not. Is that loose? Oh, that's just a bit loose there. Right, okay. What batteries does it take? Uh, massive ones by the look of it. Max power, 25 watts. So it looks like... It looks like it's taking the big D ones. I'm just looking at the, the things here, minus, minus. A little bit confusing there because the two lots of symbols are different. Can you see? Do you know what? Maybe I'm thinking because that does look a little bit confusing. That must be for this one. This one must be for this one. This one here and this one here. I'm wondering, you know what I'm thinking in my mind now? Maybe the seller didn't insert the batteries correctly. Because you know when people in a rush, they just throw batteries in and they don't necessarily look at the guide here. And that is slightly more complicated than uh, normal. Down and up. So I'm wondering about that. So it looks like I need to get... Uh, I don't know how many batteries this thing takes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't even know if I've got eight D-cell batteries. Let me have a look. They're the ones that's, that's uh, in the, the same as the big track, the video I did about the old big track. So hopefully I will have eight between all the different big tracks. Right, let me get them and then we'll test this out. Right, so let's take the batteries out of these. Right, okay, so I've got all the batteries out now, so let me just tidy this place up a little bit and then we'll test it out. Right, okay, so let's pop the batteries in and see what happens with it. 
So it looks like the bottom ones are going to be... doesn't really make sense if I'm honest with you. Must be that way in. That way and that way. And then these ones are going to be the opposite. If it doesn't work this way I'll swap them round. Right, okay, let's see what happens. Whoa, whoa, that made a funny... Did that make a spark or... Do you know what, it might have been the bubble wrap. I thought I heard a spark. Let's do it that way. It must have been the bubble wrap. Right, okay. Let's uh, see. Siren. No, okay, so nothing's happening there. Put the volume up. I mean, I'm guessing... I'm guessing maybe you press this one to uh, talk and this one to do the siren. Or I don't know, or maybe you have to press both of them. Testing, testing. Let's go to talk. Testing, 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 testing. No, okay, it doesn't actually appear to be doing anything. Right, okay. Uh, well, I suppose it might have been a boring video if it was just to work. But let's uh, let's see. You know, I'm just going to swap the batteries around just in case I have put them in wrong because I'm I'm going by that diagram here, and if you have a look, it says up, down. Oh, maybe it means to do it this way then down. Do you know what? I really don't know. Let's put them in. Let's take them all out and put them in the opposite way. Oh, here we go. Testing, testing. It's doing something. Testing, testing. Hello, hello, hello. Right, it's, uh, it's wanting to work. Let's go to siren. Whoa, Jesus, right, okay. <laughs> right, hold on. <laughs> That's gonna, uh, neighbours will be wondering what's going on. Right, well, a siren definitely works, doesn't it? Let's, let's try this again. Hello, hello, hello. So it does work. Right, so what does this trigger do then? Hello, 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 hello. I'm not sure what this trigger's for. If I just press this button here, then it works, then it works, then it Hello, hello. No, it's not working right, is it? Testing, testing, testing. I think it's just a bad connection here. Testing, testing, testing. Look, when I press it here, it's not doing it properly. See, it's sort of broken up. But when I do it on top, then it is working, but not very well. I think it's a bad connection here. I'm just going to take this apart and give it a clean. And this is the volume, so let's lower it right the way down to the bottom and see if it does anything. Testing, testing. No. Testing, testing, testing. Let's do that flat a minute. Testing, 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 testing. Yeah, so the volume does work. So it's just a dodgy battery here. Uh, not battery, sorry, button. I wonder what this trigger is for, though. Is it just for the siren? No, so the siren, every time I go to the siren, it's doing it without pressing anything. How cool is that? I'll tell you what, next time I'm stuck in... Uh, on the school run, I can't get through. I'm going to hang this thing out the window and everybody will soon move out of the way. How good does that sound? Right, I think, do you know what I think it is? I think it's a faulty button here and I'm thinking that this doesn't seem to do anything. Maybe, I wonder when you press this, is that when it should, uh, should work? Oh, actually, sorry, I'm thinking about this now. If this was clipped on the back here, then you wouldn't want to have to be keep pressing that right next to your mouth. So it should also work when you press this button here. So let's try it now. Testing, testing. Yes, testing. Okay, so the trigger does work. Does it work? Yes, it does. Right. Okay, let's put the volume right up. This is going to be really... Whoa. That's just feedback. Okay. Hello. Right, so that trigger does work. That siren works every time you do that, so the only thing that's not working properly is this little button here. So what I'm going to do is pop the batteries out, I'm going to take this apart here, 
and I bet it's just going to need a clean so it looks like this will, will be relatively easy to do. So let me just make a, a note of how the batteries go in just on the video camera there so that is uh, actually quite confusing you know that would be you know I know it sounds ridiculous because I'm not one of those people to put batteries in the wrong way but the first time round I did put it in the wrong way so uh, it's just a little bit confusing about this down and up business so uh, yeah okay let's uh, just take them lot out right let's take this little thing apart I'm just going to get something down just to protect the carpet Just held on with two little Phillips screws down the bottom, crosshead screws. Now, is there any other little hidden screws anywhere? Here we go. It's starting to starting to come out. Right. So it's this switch on the side here, which seems a little bit temperamental. So what happens is when you slide, sorry, when you push this in, right, okay, I think it's just worn a bit, because look, basically when you push this in, it's just making contact here. You see that little micro switch there? So obviously when you press that in, it's going to work, and I presume this switch is going to be working fine, because remember when we hit the button on different kind of a, you know, at the top, then it made a good contact. So I think what's happened is, I think that this has just got slightly, let's say, weak or maybe slightly out of shape over time. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to make it so uh, when you press it in, you don't need to press it much before it works. So let me just see how, let me just pop this in and see what the contact's like. Right, okay, so it's like that, and when you press it in, you see it's not doing it right now, it's not making that clicking noise, listen. There, you have to go right in. Yeah, and remember, I haven't got the top lid on it, so it's allowing it to go down this way, but look. Can you see you have to press it very hard before it does anything? So, I'm thinking if I was to bend this, so how's this going to work now? If I'm honest with you, it's not the nicest mechanism on the inside here. Or what I could do is I could just put a tiny little shim, you know, like a little bit of uh, plastic or even a bit of cardboard in there, just so that when you press it in, it's already, you know, even as it stands now, it would already be a little bit more inwards, so it doesn't take as much force to press it in, because that's the problem, it takes too much force to press it in. Even now, you can see that if I go to there, it's not doing anything. I've got to go in more there. It says lock, hold on a minute. Ah, right, okay, before I do anything, I need to, uh, so it's locked when it's in the up position. Right, I've got to be careful now, because otherwise I might ruin this. Right, so, let's pop it back in. Right, so normally it's locked, so you can't press it in accidentally. But when that's locked, you'll still be able to do the other one. You'd still be able to press that button and speak into it. Because uh, there's nothing... I mean, this doesn't hit any other switch, does it, when it's in the lock position. But before I take it apart again, so look, it doesn't do it then. Press it down, and then it does it. Doesn't do it. You know, now, it seems to be clicking just fine. No... I wonder before was it slightly I wonder before was it slightly up that's what happened look right it's normally locked and then what happened was when it's down fully it works fine it must have just been just like that can you see there and now it's still clicking but maybe a bit more there I bet it was like that when I bought it halfway in between and can you see you have to go right the way in and see it's not even doing it now locked fully down 
Well, when it's fully down, it definitely uh, it definitely works nice. So I don't think that needs to be repaired. I think it's just a word. So I've freed itself up, or I don't think it was fully down. Right, I'm going to give the whole thing a good clean, and then we'll do a test at the uh, at the end of the video, just to make sure it's all all working like it should do. I think I'm going to leave that Larnaca Airport sticker on it because it looks kind of good. It adds a bit of interest to it. Right, okay, so I'm going to give this thing a clean. Just before I clean it, I just want to tighten this up here because as you can see, it's just a little bit loose. It looks like it's just a back screw there. And uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's nicely made. It goes into a little bolt. Can you see there's a little nut there? So I just need to tighten up that back one. That's the one. Okay. Right, now I'm going to clean it. Right, I'm just going to give this a soak in a, in a sink with some washing up liquid just to try to get these stains out of it. Right, okay, so I've given it a nice good clean. The fabric here didn't come up great. I just used kind of washing up liquid on it and you can still see it's stained around here. But you know, the rest of it looks uh, looks pretty good. If I really wanted to, I'm sure my wife could probably get the staining out with something like Vanish or it might be sun damaged or something, I'm not too sure. But uh, right, okay, let's uh, test it now. So we're on the back one now, we're on torque. So if I take it off lock. Testing, 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 testing. And then let's adjust the uh, volume. Test. Testing, 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 testing. There you go, so that appears to work fine. Testing. And uh, when it's in lock, it doesn't do anything. So now. Oh, hold on a minute. When it's in lock. When it's in lock, it does it all the time. So basically, uh, when it's in lock, it will just pick up everything. You see? Right, so that's what the lock does. Apologies, you know, I've never had one of these before, so I don't really know how they work. And now when I press this, it should work as well. So it's not on lock now. And when I press this, it should work. There we go. So that's all there. Uh, it's all working exactly like it should do. Testing. There we go, so what a bit of a result. So all it was, was the case that the batteries were obviously put in wrong when it was testing. And uh, I think the seller, just like myself, when I first of all started playing around with it, didn't really understand how this thing here properly works. So uh, it must have been kind of like, not down fully, and that's why it was kind of breaking up when pressing it in. But everything's working good now. So uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that. In my opinion, it's worth the money. I don't know how much these things go for. Maybe they don't go for much more than that. But uh, this really does seem to be a little bit older and seems to be good quality. I know nothing about megaphones. Maybe Branford are a really cheap brand, but I'm thinking that the uh, uh, Lana International, like airport police or whatever they're called, I'm sure they would have a bit of a budget where they wouldn't have to buy cheap rubbish, you know, so hopefully it is okay. So I actually quite enjoyed doing that one. It was nice for a change just to have something with a real, well, something that's not broken, which is advertiser spares or repair. Sometimes it's nice to get something that works. So uh, yeah, unfortunately it's not a really interesting video. I didn't go into the breakdown of how the inside works, but realistically if it's working, I'm not gonna take it apart because it defeats the purpose. It's already working. There's no need for me to take it apart to fix it because it's working just fine as it is. So uh, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more trying to fix it videos. They're not always this simple. Most of the time they're a complete nightmare. And uh, yeah, also how-to videos as well. So that's it, take care, bye now.